بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today we'll discuss episiotomy Our objectives are to know the definition, indication, types, operative technique and the complications of episiotomy Episiotomy is an operation in which the perineum is incised during labor to widen the vaginal orifice Its advantages are to avoid irregular perineal tear, avoid overstretching of the perineum and subsequent prolapse, shorten the second stage of labor, and it decrease the sudden head compression and decompression, so it avoid intracranial hemorrhage in preterm labor. The indications of episiotomy are either maternal or fetal. The maternal indication includes primary gravida, scarred or rigid perineum, during instrumental delivery like forceps or ventus, during intratrime manipulation, and the fetal indication includes preterm labor, macrosomic fetus with large head, malposition like direct occipital posterior position, malpresentation like breach and face presentation. Types of episiotomy include the median episiotomy or midline episiotomy, the medulateral episiotomy and J-shaped episiotomy. The median episiotomy, we incise in the midline of the perineum and the structures divided are the vaginal mucosa and fourchette, the perineal skin and fascia and central tendon of the perineal body. The advantage are it is easy with less bleeding and repair is easy, it's more anatomical, with less discomfort and less disparum. But the disadvantage, it may extend to involve the anal sphincter. The medulateral episiotomy, we incise the, the incision start at the fourchette, then it extends towards the escalchio prosti, and the structures divided are the vagina mucus and fourchette, the perineal skin and fascia, the bulbocavernosus muscle, the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscle and may extend to puporectalis part of levator inai. The advantage, it avoids extension to anal sphincter and the disadvantage, it is more difficult, more bleeding, the repair is difficult, it's not anatomical, more painful scar. Here is the median episiotomy. We cut the central tendon of the perineum. But in the medulateral episiotomy, there is muscle cut. We cut the valvo cavernosus muscle and the superficial and deep transverse perineal muscle. Here also you can see in the median episiotomy, we cut the vaginal mucosa and the fourchette and the central tendon of the perineum with the perineal skin and fascia. No muscle cut. But in Medulateral episiotomy, you cut the vaginal mucosa, the fourchette, the muscle, which is the bulbocavernosus muscle, a superficial and deep transverse perineal muscle, and may extend to the puporectalis part of the levator inai, with the perineal skin and fascia. The J-shaped episiotomy, the incision start at the midline, at two within two centimeter from the inner sphincter, then it extends laterally. The operative technique of episiotomy, we put the patient in the lysotomy position, and we do a septic technique. Then we infiltrate local anesthesia, five to 10 milli of lidocaine, two percent. And the incision is done when the presenting part distends the perineum maximally. This means at crowning. And uh, the repair of cut layer after delivery is started by the vaginal mucosa. Then we go for the deep perineal muscle, then the superficial perineal muscle, then the perineal skin. The aftercare, we have to keep the wound clean and dry. We use the antiseptic solution after every maturation or defecation and dry it and use local antibiotic. Also, we can give a prophylactic antibiotic. The complications are the short-term complication, 
and long term complications, short term complications in the form of pain, infection, hemorrhage, disruption, and long term complications in the form of dyspareunia, incontinence of latus or feces if there is a sphincter injury or uh, there is rectovaginal fistula. Here are the layer repair during episiotomy. We start uh, one centimeter above the incision, above the apex of the incision from the vaginal mucosa and sutures the vaginal mucosa till we reach the fourchette. After that, we go to the deep perineal muscle. Then we go for superficial perineal muscle. Then we close the perineal skin. This is the common question. Ask it in episiotomy. Thank you.